The Blue Lock movie episode Nagi is coming out probably by the time this video is out. It's already out. I'm going to be real. But only in Japan. I kind of got baited. I thought it was coming out in North America. So I kind of timed this video poorly, if I'm being honest. But enjoy anyways. Isagi Yoichi is a second year forward for his high school soccer team. And in the prefectural finals, he lays off a sitter for his teammate, who squanders the opportunity to send them to nationals. After the match and after his coach's sappy speech, Isagi cries over the realization that he'll never be a star forward or win the World Cup for Japan. Though when he arrives home, a letter from the Japan Football Union awaits him, as it seems he has been selected as a certified athlete. When he arrives at the JFU building, he meets Kira Ryosuke, the star striker of the team he just lost to, who has also been called there. When they enter the building, they see a crowd of other young strikers from across Japan, and they are greeted by Igo Jinpachi, the man hired by the JFU to ensure Japan wins the World Cup. He announces his plan to turn one of the 300 U18 strikers before him into the best striker in the world, with his experiment to take place in the Blue Lock facility. They are all to live together, train together, and abandon their lives to be the last man standing and become the world's best striker, allegedly. Many of the kids take issue with abandoning their lives for this experiment, but Isagi finds inspiration in the lunatic's words, and leads the way through the doors to Blue Lock, as the rest follow suit. When they arrive at the facility, Isagi is placed in room Z with Kira and 10 others, and their first test is a game of tag with a soccer ball. Whoever is hit when the timer's up is to be kicked out of Blue Lock, and never be allowed to play for the national team. The numbers on their arms indicate their rank in Blue Lock. Isagi is second last. The top five at the end of this will be registered as forwards for Japan at the U20 World Cup in six months' time. Isagi decides to go after the strongest player there, and he targets Kira, who's been nothing but nice to him, and after being set up at Bachina Meguru, he blasts the ball at his face. Though Kira is furious as his soccer career ends, Isagi is surprised to find he's pumped up from the experience, as the remaining 11 players are to train together as part of Team Z. New member of the JFU, Teyeri Anri. Teyeri Anri. I just realized as I'm reading this, recording this video. Teyeri Anri? Thierry Anri? Is that on purpose? I only just realized that. That's kind of fucking with my mind. That's kind of sick. Thierry Anri. Okay. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Teyeri Anri vouches for Ego and his blue lock experiment. Standing up to the other members of the board who give her a chance for results. Or her head will roll, apparently. When they announce the Blue Lock project to the public, the media is in an uproar. But Itoshi Sai, Japan's best midfielder, is eager to see if a striker worthy of his passes will be born. In Blue Lock, 25 teams from B to Z are split into five buildings evenly, with 25 players having been locked off after the initial game of tag. Each team from B to Z descend corresponding to their rank, and Ego announces the first selection process, a round robin between the teams in Building 5, with the top two teams progressing. The top scores of the other three teams will also progress. The first match is Team Z against Team X, and oh my god, what is this, House League? It's a clusterfuck. Everybody is thinking selfishly of scoring their own goals, until Team X's Baro Shue breaks through and scores the first. This rallies his team into playing some form of coordinated soccer, whilst Team Z continue to be selfish, digging themselves into a deeper hole. Isagi begins to understand what Ego meant when he said this first selection is about creating soccer from zero, and when he has a chance in front of goal, he passes to Rensuke Kunigami, who shoots and scores. They end up losing 5-1, and Baro sons Isagi. Though they get demolished, they begin to understand the purpose of the first selection, and they come up with a strategy that utilizes all of their weapons. Isagi doesn't know what his weapon is, though. Isagi and Kunigami share a wholesome moment over dinner. Then in their next match against Team Y, Team Z utilize their plan where they rotate strikers every 10 minutes. Team Y score an early goal and frustrate them for most of the match, but when Isagi sniffs out their team's orchestrator, they are able to pull one back. Then after Isagi saves a chance at one end of the pitch, he volleys them to victory at the other end, thanks to a pass from his kindred spirit, Bachira. Isagi is exhilarated at the feeling of crushing the dreams of the 11 opposing players, and after the rankings are adjusted, 
he becomes the top ranked player on his team. In their next must win match against Team W, Wataru Kuon comes up with a new strategy where they must rotate a front three of compatible players every 30 minutes. Kuon ends up scoring a quick hat trick, but in the second half, Team W's Wanima brothers capitalize on his mistakes to make it 3 3. Shigiri Hyoma of Team Z went to school with them back before his ACL tear when he was a star and the fastest striker in his league. They hated him. When Isagi realizes that Kuon has betrayed them, having traded the other team information on their tactics, in return for them letting him score three goals, the game becomes a 12 on 10. They go down 4-3, and with the odds stacked against them, Chigiri is inspired by Isagi's resolve to win, and he abandons his fear of re-injuring his leg to let his speed explode. Thanks to Isagi's vision, he manages to find Chigiri, who scores, and the game ends in a draw, keeping their hopes of finishing second alive. Before their final match against the undefeated Team V, Isagi hits the training pitch to find a way to make his goals reproducible on his own, and there he finds Baro also practicing. He's the top scorer so far with 10 goals. The King owns him in their small games of one-on-one, -on -one, but Isagi learns something from him, apparently. In the final match of the group, Team Z faces off against the dominant Team V, whose best players, Mika Gereo, Tsurugi Zantets, and the incredibly lazy but talented Nagi Seishiro, rocket them to an early 3-0 lead. Kuan is also doing nothing but standing in the corner being that he's the top scorer, and if they lose, he still progresses. Everyone's hopes begin to fade, everyone's except Bachira's, who is pumped to be in such a desperate situation and he uses his superb dribbling skills to score a solo goal and pull one back. This fires up the rest of the team, who manage to tie it up, but when Nagi sees his friend Reo in dire straits, he takes the initiative for the first time, as his curiosity awakens to score a wonder goal. They're all fucking wonder goals, can we talk about it? I'm sorry, but you can't mention real players like Messi and Ronaldo in your series, if your characters are gonna do shit that those players can only dream of doing. They're already better than them. You should have just made all of your professional players have made up names. How is it that every single pass, every single shot they make is just perfectly accurate? It doesn't make any sense. They're already better than Neymar, Messi, Ronaldo, Cantona, than all of those guys. And I am a true soccer fan, but it doesn't take a true soccer fan to know that. Anyways, I still like the show. Isagi's psychic powers enable them to pull it back. But just as Nagi's genius is about to seal the game for Team V, Kuan unexpectedly tackles him to the ground, stopping him from scoring but earning him a red card, and destroying his chance of progressing as the top scorer. Kunigami is tied with him on goals, but has a better fair play record. Kuon decides to put his faith in his team, who defend desperately, then counter, and Bachida sets up Isagi for a volley, and with Nagi on his ass, our protagonist awakens, finally discovering the final piece of his formula for goals, his direct shot, as he blasts it into the corner, winning the game for his team. So, Team V and Team Z progress to the second selection, as well as the top scorers of the other teams, and they spend the next 10 days doing rigorous training without touching a soccer ball. They are then called to the basement of their building with the rest of the buildings for the second selection, and when there, Eagle tells them that every building was treated as the bottom of the barrel, and went through the same first selection process, in order to instill them all with a sense of desperation and inferiority. In this second selection, there are five stages, and those who clear all five will participate in a training camp with the world's best players. Isagi heads through the gate where the first stage is, and he hones his direct shot in the shooting test, then progresses to the second stage, where he must form a team of three. He and Bachira team up, then Nagi abandons Reo to join them and satiate his curiosity. After being inspired by how Isagi played against them in the last selection, they move on together to the next stage, a 3 on 3 minigame format, with Blue Lock Man being the goalie. The first team to 5 goals gets to steal a player from the other team, and progress to the next stage, a 4 on 4 match, whilst the losing team has to fall down to a 2 on 2 match. If you lose in the 2 on 2 match and don't get chosen by the other team, you're disqualified. Isagi chooses to fight the first team he sees, the top 3 ranked players in Blue Lock and he kicks off their match with a goal using his improved direct shot. But the top three players, Itoshi Rin, Aryu Jubei, and Tokimitsu Aoshi, though lousy teammates, 
overwhelm them individually, and Isagi's field vision pales in comparison to Rin's as they lose the match 5-2. They choose Bachida to join them, and Isagi and Nagi are sent back down to the 2-on-2 stage, where they face Baru and Team Z's Naruhaya Asahi. Nagi quickly discovers his formula for goals, and he and Baru trade goals to make it 4-4. Then Isagi devours Naruhaya's skill of getting in behind to make it his own, which he combines with his direct shot weapon to score the winning goal. Isagi thanks Naruhaya for his role in helping him evolve, but he picks Baru to join their team, meaning the shorty is disqualified. Nagi and Baru struggle to get along off the pitch, and Isagi is obsessed with creating a chemical reaction with him on it. When in the bathhouse, they find the team of Kunigami, Reo, and Shigiri there as well, and they agree to face them in their next match. Reo is big mad that Nagi left him. Baru's selfishness cost his team a couple of goals, and Isagi gives up on creating a chemical reaction with him, after witnessing his stubbornness. His chemical reaction with Nagi keeps them in the game, however, and he devours Baru's style of play, to the point where the king actually passes him the ball, and is brought to his knees. He even calls him a donkey! With the score tied 4-4, and Baru at his lowest point, he refuses to become a supporting character, and evolves using chop feints, then devours Isagi right back to score the winner, and become the villain on the field. Or something. They then choose Shigiri to join them, and Nagi is fed up with Ryo's pouting, as he and Kunigami are knocked back down to the second stage. When Isagi's team move on to the next stage, after finally sharing some understanding with Baru and taking some rest, he finds Rin and challenges his team to a match. So, in the final stage of second selection, Isagi and Rin's psychic powers go head to head, and when Rin gets serious, Isagi is overwhelmed at this puppet master's vision. Bachida finally gets to witness firsthand the soccer his internal monster has showed him is possible, but feels left behind in Isagi and Rin's shadows. With the score tied 4 4, Rin makes a goal line clearance from Isagi's shot, and Bachida counters the other way, evolving as he goes, abandoning the monster inside him and listening to his inner voice to propel himself past the entire white team to goal. But Isagi surpasses Rin in that moment, to anticipate Bachida's evolution and block his shot, though by pure luck, it lands at Rin's feet, and he has a free shot at goal, where he won't miss. Rin then demands Isagi join them, the only person who's ever made him feel defeated with that last play, and he's determined to crush him like his brother, Itoshi Sai. Ego then gives them a spiel about luck, and how it's important to be prepared and make the most of your luck, a concept Isagi etches into his brain. In the third selection, they are matched up against five of the best strikers in the world in a five-a-side game. First to five goals wins. They kick off with a nice link-up between Bachira and Rin that puts them ahead 1-0, but when the world's best gets serious, they quickly separate the men from the boys and blast five past them. Rin was the only one who actually thought they could win. Elsewhere, the Japanese football union decide to shut down the Blue Lock project, but Ego states that he will show them results. With the second selection over, 35 players have passed to the third selection, and Isagi and Bachida hold their breath to see which of their friends from Team Z have made it through. Nagi's team make it with Zantets and a newcomer, Kiyora Jin, and Team Wise orchestrator that lost to Isagi, Niko Iki also made it through with another team. Of Team Z, Gagamaru Gin and Raichi Jingo made it through alongside Wanima Junichi of Team W, whilst Igarashi Gurimu, the only player to be ranked below Isagi at the beginning, also progressed alongside Reo. But no Kunigami. Who the fuck is this guy swinging his feet off the pitch? Ego then announces some changes in plans with the JFU breathing down his neck. The next selection will take place in three weeks time. A match between the Japan Under 20s and the Blue Lock 11. If they win, they become Japan's new U20 team. If they lose, Blue Lock will be canned, and they will become the laughingstock of Japanese soccer. Itoshi Sai is also joining the U20s team for this match. There is Blue Lock Season 1 fully recapped. I'm actually kind of interested to see where this goes. Season 2, we have no idea when it's coming out yet, but I'm interested to see this Japan U20 versus Blue Lock 11 match. I'm interested to see who becomes the quote-unquote best striker in the world, even though they're all pretty much the best strikers already. 
at least if you're comparing them to actual players like Messi and Ronaldo. But with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, comment, you know what to do. Go watch the movie if you can, even though it's only releasing in Japan and North America, I think it's June 28th, so we got a ways to go, a ways to wait. But it's more of a spin-off movie anyways, it's not a continuation of the story here. For that, we have to wait for season two. So with that being said, I love you all. Take it easy, and peace.